We're here again. It's still medium base, but it's Antron's this time instead of Greg's. So we'll see if that is any different. Hopefully it is. But a uh, little flustered, actually a lot flustered. It's uh, kind of a pain that that happened. And hopefully it doesn't do it again. I know alien bases aren't like perfected. I know they're a bit imbalanced and all that, but... <sighs> Crashes, man. They get you. Gets to you after a while, after you stop a recording and start a recording and then have to stop it again and start it again and over and over and over again. It starts to really tear at your sanity a bit. Jesus Christ. Handron bases. They just break shit. Alright, let's see what the heck's going on up here. No, M move and then crouch. There we go. Well, that's different. It's got a big UFO in it. Is that cover? I guess, wait. No. No, it's not. It's just there for looks. Okay. Well, it's still kind of cool, though. Uh, even if it doesn't really have a door, it'd be cool if it had a door, you could actually go into it and stuff. Uh, I, I guess, yeah. Oh, okay, maybe, maybe it is cover. Let's close the door and try again next turn. Well, more doors opening. More stuff breaking. And I still hear those little scout drone things, so they're still around. So hopefully they don't crash anything this time. You got a big gun. <sighs> Alien bases are definitely difficult, though. Because you're in a really bad position, and there's a lot of them. Okay, he went down easy. He was just a green one. That guy over there, I'm not so sure on. Okay, yeah, the layout of the base changed too. There used to be more cover in the corner. Uh, so it's a completely different base, which is kind of cool. I wonder if there's still a door up there. Doesn't look like there is. How'd the UFO get in here? Okay, so I can shoot through it. I don't know what that was all about then. It looked like... I think it hit the Andron, but it didn't pierce the armor. But it loaded the... One damage? But it loaded the thing, like, really far away for some strange reason. A chance of hitting the cover, but... Go for it anyway. Really wish you could move out of the way. So, this isn't cover then? Okay, it's just kind of there. Okay. Work in progress, I assume. Could maybe kill this guy and spike a smoke grenade with somebody. Because otherwise that guy's going to be a bit of a pain. Actually, might be able to get lucky. Although, he'll probably just throw a grenade. Yeah, there it goes. All right. And of course, we only do reaction fire after he throws the grenade. He's got a lot of time units, too. Oh look, there's everything. Hi, everything. We beat them here by one turn. But unfortunately, there's not very much cover in this room. And it crashed again. Well, I give up. Well, I'm tired of trying that. That alien base can sit there forever for all I care.
Seems like nothing I do was able to get around the crash. It's some scout somewhere doing something stupid, breaking the game. I don't know why alien bases are in the game if they always crash. Maybe I'm just incredibly unlucky and no matter how many times I reload the mission, it always crashes. I, I don't know. I don't know. Epic bummer because I think I could have done it. It's, uh, it's really poop. Research the Marauder and then we'll start on the, um, on the officer interrogation. Because we got the fancy shield just finished up. The cruiser should finish. There we go. Yeah, the cruiser UFO because we just did that. We got the live Herod in from it, which is awesome. Uh, Herod and officer, but I don't think it's like special. It's just, yeah, just Herod and analysis. None special. So I guess all officers are the same. Uh, apparently we found a base over there. Cool. Great. Why not? Now that the game knows I can't do them. Just bring them on. And let's go for the Shrike drop ship. No, no. Yeah, let's, let's stick with the plan. Go for the uh, interrogation. Move on the story a bit, I suppose. See what it wants me to do next. And aircraft work on the Corsair. Wrong base. Work on the Corsair. There we go. 30 Elenium. Got 110. And I have room for it. Whoops. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I got room for it. Okay. And then we'll slowly phase those in. Uh huh. 400,000 each. Not bad. Just take. Oh, 40 Elenium. Oh, that's fine. Takes a little longer. It's a little more expensive. It takes a lot longer, actually. A bit more expensive. It's fine. I need them. The only bases are going to taunt me. Fuckload of very small is heading wicked quick. Into medium. Okay, so those are just. That's just going to be a trio of fighters that are going to shoot down my stuff. And this is a landing ship. Yeah. Okay. You can engage me all you want. I'm not going to fight you unless I have to. And when you want to re just retreat, re I can't because you click disengage and then they're like locked on. I don't know why they don't just get off the edge. They always take like some awkward way to go. Oh, uh, you're wasting fuel. Disengage. Are you going to continue going after the uh, other guy? I wonder. No, Squadron 1, new target, that guy. Here we go. That's more like it. Better leave the afterburners off just in case it uh, takes up way too much fuel. Easy. Ugh, I'm all flustered from the... Ugh. Okay, we gotta get rid of you if we want to do the mission. And given it's just barely daytime, we gotta head out like within the next six hours, so I do gotta do you. Um... I don't really have many people for it. Go Zoot Boy, now, quick! Fuck, he's fast. Zero percent victory. Great. Wait, I'm confused. Where's it going? It's like the worst squad of fighters ever. I was almost certain they were going to take out the Chinook. Yeah. Maybe he'll get us on the way back. What a dick. I've had that happen before. I think it was at a terror site. A bunch of UFOs popped up at the, from the terror site or something like that. And as soon as I left, we were shot down. It's awful. Only minor damage. And we see something right off the bat. It's Herodin's. Yay. Can I save first? Save under something. I don't even know. Mostly these are the 
friggin' bases. I don't even know where I am anymore. Okay, at least landing zone's clear. Bottom corner, no. Wait, where are we? Okay, top-ish. Okay. Go for it, I guess. Kind of a bad chance. At the very least, suppressed him, which is cool, because he's got a wicked gun. Got a rifle I can get out there. A bit better for the old long range. Uh, foot shot, 100 damage. Yeah. We'll end the turn and see what comes pouring out through the trees. I don't mind Arctic so much anymore. It used to be really awful. Oh, what the shit. Okay, it's Androns. One of them is very upset at me about something. We'll just slowly move out. Oh, right, civilians and local forces and stuff. Okay. I thought I was being shot at from really far away and nobody knew where it was coming from. And I was like, wow, that dude's got some really good eyesight. But no, it's just some civilian getting horribly, horribly mutilated. Ah, well. Sucks to be that guy. Kind of that one little tree is there. I think that corner is going to be clear. Because I can't, I, I can assure any blah, blah, words. I know that things aren't going to be coming in from over here because the tree's in the way, which is really awesome. So I know it's just up here that I got to cover and then way over here that I got to cover because this is the corner here. And even up here is not going to be that bad. It's mostly across the lake. So my commissar is being a hero way up there. We'll hit the trees with our heavy machine guns and wrap around the side of the lake. Uh, Jake, we'll get you... I don't know. Somewhere over here. Probably up by these trees or something. We'll see which side has more activity. Damn. A fine try. Fortunately, the assault rifle is so overpoweredly good, it's awesome. Way too accurate at long range. Even outside its effective range, it's still almost a guaranteed hit. Let's come this way, because it seems like the uh, far left corner here has got all the action going on. You too. There's no real point in cutting around the lake. The corner's right up there anyway, I think. No, oh, maybe not. Okay. A good bit of the way. I don't know. I see you back there behind that tank thing. I stay back there.
Big gun. No damage, though. Yay, shield and armor. And he went back behind the tank. All right, fine. That's how it's going to be. We'll play it old school. I think that's enough dudes to handle an Andron. Why? Why can you not just... Why? Why is pathing so strange sometimes? Map Master all over here on his own. Because I moved the other heavy gunner away because I thought the quarter was right up here, but it's not. The map's a lot larger than I thought. Oh well. Uh, I just want that guy dead, really. I guess we got him. I can't, I can't see it, though. Some heavy machine gun somewhere was, like, closing his eyes and firing, I guess. Okay, I guess he ran up there and... Cool. Well done. Very nice shooting. Good job, Bubba. We can't shoot over this thing. No, full body cover. I'm getting really ballsy here. Putting a bit too much trust in this armor. Setting soldiers off on their own. Given it was just a medium though, just a landing ship, I haven't done them in a while. It feels like it's been centuries since I've done a landing ship, but not really many aliens in them, so... I got that I s no, you died. Okay, never mind. I thought I saved somebody. Uh, I don't really know how many aliens there are. I kind of forgot, so I don't know if the outside's clear or not. Uh, I just hear stomping around regardless, because I think they're capable of opening their door and leaving. They're the only alien I know of who can. I think. Did a Greg do that once? I think a Greg did it once. Although I think it might have been an accident. Okay, looks like mostly just trees up there, so. Uh. That master, actually, just take it cool there. You got Jake C with you too. If something comes around, something awful, you'll even take some cover over here with you. Cover that side of the map. I'm thinking it's going to be clear because I think we're just rocking whatever's left inside inside the ship. But just in case, I suppose we're ready to breach. Got most people over here. So just one and five, map master. Oops. And Jake Z, watching this corner, I'm 99% certain it's clear, but just in case. Open the door, and there is a lot of dudes up there. They all have just standard rifles. I don't know why this keeps defaulting to fucking fully automatic. No matter. Um, I gotta take the shots. Oh, good hit. Okay, they're all just rocking shotguns, which is kind of hilarious, really. Because <laughs> even if one little projectile does hit me, I don't think it can do much damage. And don't be alarmed, most of those are upstairs, which I might be able to see. No, can't see it yet. They're upstairs, though. Okay, this guy should be about dead. There we go. And work on him because it's a good chance of you hitting him. He's gonna start firing, but probably miss with every shot. And I really hate how it auto snaps around. So I always anticipate it not doing because most of the time, like now it doesn't, so I always scroll over to the right so it's recentered and nice and pretty. And just snaps around sometimes. Psh. 
I'm gonna try it. Okay, you can't hit him. You can hit him, though, so go for that, and then our machine gun back here will go for this guy way up here and hopefully kill him. And then reload. Yay! Ten minutes. I love how the heavies finally have enough time minutes to do stuff like that. Okay, and Soldier 7 needs to reload. Cool. Oh my god, another one. Oh. Oh no. He doesn't even care. It's like, ow. Oh. One shot. No. And turn is it just what's upstairs now. I think it might be. Pretty sure it is. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Oh my god, that Andron thing. Or Andron thing? No. Uh what are they called genuinely? Uh, Harridan? Or is that the teleporty one? I think Harridan. Yeah, Harridan. Not Geth Hunters, although they look exactly like a Geth Hunter. But maybe that's just me having Mass Effect in every game I always play ever. I don't know, I was even playing Just Cause 2 and it's like first mission, it's like, side with the gang, one of them is the Reapers. I was like, oh, Jesus. Alright, well, I guess I'll go with the Reapers then, they're pretty badass. Mass Effect is in every game. Uh, get these guys over here and I will see you at the portals. Teleporters. Same difference. You ready to enter? Gambit, open the door first. Wow. Okay, everything is in line of sight. Okay, well, Ababa first, I suppose. Cool. Glad that worked. Um, wow, I was not expecting this many things. Then we can hit him. Yeah, alright, cool, go for it. Uh nicked him. Not quite good enough. Go for a real nice rifle shot. Can't go wrong with that. Wow, oh, okay. Shot's being blocked hardcore by the door frame. To the point where we aim, and it actually has a higher chance of hitting the first thing it encounters, being the door frame. Alright, well we'll take a snapshot, I suppose. And then another one. And then another one. Got him! And start pistoling. They were in blue, so... Oh, they got that gun, too. Shit. Yeah, that gun sucks to fight. Let's close the door. The blue ones have a lot of life. Not too keen on them. Uh. Hey! Oh. Okay, yeah, they, they just plain hurt. Okay, got him. Throw a smoke at this guy. Poof. Good deal. Go, go, go! Yeah, Bubba's bleeding. We'll heal him real quick before the mission ends. And Gambit as well. Moved away from the door and still ended up getting hit. Uh, whatever, just heal him. Hi. Now, I need to be very careful here. 
Is this dude just capable of killing one of us? This needs to kill him. God damn it, Matt Master. Your shot's not penetrating. Come on! You son of a bitch. I hate you, Andron. Fucking hate you. I wanted burst fire. Oh my god, just die. We need another smoke grenade. All right, we can't throw smoke through smoke. <sighs> Chris, you got some logic things you gotta fix. If you're watching, I don't think you are, but if you are, please fix. Hot fix if you have to. Because they're really obnoxious things for people who are actually playing. There we go. Fuh, hot fixes are great things though. I love them. Because then you don't have to try out some experimental build that's probably got too much added in which breaks things. Because if it's just a little thing, like being able to aim through smoke, you can't possibly fuck that up. You just change a couple lines of code, right? Right? Or is it like this huge massive spider web that we got going on? I don't know. I've seen some pretty horrible bugs, like World of Warcraft. You fix Frost Nova and then Thrall disappears. Like, what the hell happened? I don't even know. Their code's probably very strange. Oh well, two hundred thousand dollars. I just, just really wish I could shoot through smoke, you know. Especially if we see the alien with somebody else, it's like, hey, he's right there, shoot him, you know, something, or at least throw him through smoke. Then aliens would probably spam throw grenades through smoke too, and it'd be some horrible thing. Uh. Oh well, I'll take my money and leave it. I forgot to. No, I healed them. Yeah, they're just injured for a few days now, which is cool. And I don't even know what that little fighter squadron's doing. It's really bad at its job. Maybe I broke it somehow. Do you... I don't know. Um... Let's try to take him on. Just to get rid of him. Yay, cool. Select new target. That guy. Oh. How much fuel do you have? Go for him instead. That's just a small that we can take on with Rogue Jackal version 2. No problem there. Like to take on the medium, shoot it. Down! I would auto-engage, but I actually like saying this. Just one little scout getting completely annihilated from afar with wicked overpowered plasma torpedoes. Such overkill. Such goodness. And you're being an idiot again. God damn it. Just get him. Just shoot him. Shoot him in the fucking face. Air combat, I hate you so hard sometimes. They try to cut the ship off, but it's going at such a... Then they try to manually, and it's got to... Uh, got to rearm or whatever. Just get out. All right, how about that medium? Can we do this at least? Just auto-resolve it. That's fine. Auto result doesn't even make sense. Back to base. We'll do that one during the day, I suppose. Like now ish. No, not the alien base. Definitely not the alien base. We'll go ahead and do this one. Was it Middle East? Alright, I'm cool with Middle East. That dude can just fly around. Pretty much destroyed, mind you. Hey look, heavy fighter UFO. Haven't we done this before? Could have sworn we did. It shoots from afar and has a close-range weapon. Surprise, surprise. 